Hey everybody, it's Timmy O'Neill and we're live from Winter Market 2015 and we are live from OR. How are you, friend? Love that green hat, never change. All right, so you can tell it's a very <laughs> casual vibe here. We're having fun with notables from the outdoor industry. And we have, well, just a really great notable with us, the individual who won the Lifetime Achievement Award from the outdoor industry, Mr. John Roskelly. Hello, John. Hey, hello, Tim. How Good are you? Good to see you, friend. I'm doing well, nice thank to you. See you. So, Spokane, Washington, are you a spoke animal? I am. Good, yeah, me all too. All my life. So, so you have this storied <laughs> history. Right, you have these notable ascents of 7,000 meter peaks, 8,000 meter peaks. For those of you watching on YouTube at home, first of all, think about getting gainfully employed, put some pants on. And what 7,000 and 8,000 meter peaks are, are they're very large, very dangerous. And what drives you to, to climb these peaks? And are you still driven? So let's go to the well, first part. What drove you initially, and do you still have that drive? Well, I still have the drive, but I don't have the energy anymore. <laughs> right. Mentally, I'd like to be there, but uh, no, I, in your youth, you're uh, a bit crazy, at least I was. And uh, once I got my taste of the Himalayas in 1973 on Dalagiri, I just had to keep going back, keep going back. And it, and it wasn't necessarily because of the climbs. I really loved Nepal. I loved Pakistan. I loved Tibet. And to travel through those uh, countries and, and meet the people, that to me was more important than the climbs. So as far as looking back, what would be one of your most epic memories? I could think of one for myself. You must have something that you're like, you look back on it, like that was the sweetest moment, or do you have something like that that you could share with us? Well, there's so many, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, Sorting quite a through few them there. all. Um, I, think, I think the most important, the climb that I, uh, one of the climbs I enjoyed the most was uh, Makalu. Uh, we went, I, I chose a team of, uh, there were four of us, uh, no oxygen, no Sherpas, we did the West Ridge, which had only been climbed once by the French. And uh, it was an incredible route. It's, it's so pretty. When you look at it, it's as straight as an arrow. And it's really the aesthetics of a route that attract me. It's not how high they are or, or uh, where they're located. It's, it's really the route itself. And that is what draws us to the mountains, this ability to sit there in such a primal place and say, this is where we were, are from, and to go back to it. And I love how you put it, that beautiful aesthetic of a mountain that draws you. And so why outdoor retailer? You come to this, this building, this assembly of people, this meeting of the tribe. What's important about being in this room to you? Well, I've been coming to the outdoor retailer show, or, well, what used to be one, since 1977. And... Uh, you know, I just enjoy being around the people who work here. Uh, they're dedicated. They're they're fun to be with, and you know, I get a I get to walk around and see the new new gear. But really, it all boils down to making uh, uh, touching base with those relationships that I've had for all those years. So that's what it is for me here is just seeing the few people who are left after all these years. <laughs> right, and that, so walking walking the carpets, getting the show hugs. Yeah and being able to see basically right. the family that we've chosen, right? That's right. Well, John Ross Kelly, congratulations on your Lifetime you. Achievement Award and all your excellent ascents. I look forward to hanging out with you. Please, a round of applause for John Ross Kelly. <laughs> Woo! And I can't wait to be hanging with you on stage tonight as well. This is Timmy O'Neill signing off live from OR.